Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy, and in today's video, we are going to be breaking down the NFC Divisional Playoff matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. During this video, we're just going to discuss kind of how I felt about the game as it was going on, and my overall feel about how the Bucs will fare next week up against the Green Bay Packers, obviously, because they won this game 30 220 in New Orleans. If you guys do end up enjoying this video at any point, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below because not only is it free, I put out content pretty much every single day surrounding around the NFL. Right now, we're going to be getting into a ton of NFL draft content. There's a lot of fantasy football content on here, which is what this channel centers around. But right now in the offseason, I talk about pretty much just the whole NFL. So please make sure if you end up enjoying and having a good time to hit that subscribe button. So let's get into it. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers slay the New Orleans Saints 30 220 in what is likely Drew Brees' final NFL game. Now, that's what the reports are saying. Was that the last game Drew Brees has ever played? In my opinion, probably, but Drew Brees seems like the kind of guy who doesn't want to go out like a chump, how he played today. But then there's the flip side, there's the side that, hey, Drew Brees looked like shit in this game. Why would he want to continue and come back and kind of just get outshone, outclassed by Jameis Winston, who had one throw in this game for 56 yards and one touchdown, whereas Mr. Drew Brees, young check down, 19 of 34 for 134 yards, which gets you to 3.9 passing yards per attempt, one touchdown, three INTs, and a 38.1 quarterback ranking. Drew Brees played the worst game of football I think I've ever seen out of Drew Brees. Drew Brees is one of those guys that when I was growing up my whole life, Drew Brees is one of those guys looked at as the best quarterback or one of the best quarterbacks in football. And he's going to retire as one of the best quarterbacks to ever play NFL football. But this game was just a damper on what was a great career out of Drew Brees. People will forget about this, though, in like two years. No one will even give a fuck that Drew Brees got his back blown out by old man Tampa Bay Tom Brady. Speaking of Tom Brady, 18 of 33 for 199 yards and two touchdowns. Both these guys not really averaging too many uh, yards per attempt. 6.0 average yards per completion for Tampa Bay Tom Brady, which again doesn't really matter. Both these guys were kind of not really taking too many chances. Tom did take a couple of chances where the receivers just ended up dropping it. Mike Evans early on in the game dropped one, I believe, and then Gronk dropped one, which was perfectly put in his hands. He kind of just fumbled with it a little bit, but Tom Brady had a very good game. That's coming from one of the biggest Tom Brady haters. Now, I don't hate him because I don't think he's any good. I hate him because I'm a Dolphins fan, and he has been scrutinizing me all 21 years of my life. So, uh, Leonard Fournette, 17 of 63. Ronald Jones, 13 of 62 for the Tampa Bay rushing attack. The Saints rushing attack, Alvin Kamara, 18 for 85. Ty Montgomery, 4 for 14. Drew Brees, 2 for 3. Now, one of the biggest things to bring up about this game is obviously Drew Brees just playing like complete and utter dog shit, dog water, freer than free, freer than a, uh, free sample at Costco, I believe is how it goes, but the funniest thing to bring up is Michael Thomas, zero for four. This man finished the game, slant God, everyone's favorite wide receiver, Michael Thomas, O oh for four. He's like fucking Shaq from the free throw line. Michael Thomas, what a sad, sad, sad man you are. You talk so much shit on Twitter. You always do. You're always acting like the best guy, and you fucking went out there and sucked today. Drew Brees played bad. Michael Thomas played even worse. And what's funny is that might actually overshadow how bad Drew Brees ended up playing. Now, again, Traquan Smith really went off in this game. Three for 85 and two touchdowns. Emmanuel Sanders, six for 48. Five for 28 for Jared Cook. Cameron Brate, four for 50 for the Bucks. Uh, Lenny, five for 44 and one touchdown. Chris Godwin, four for 34. Mike Evans, one for three and a tug. Rob Gronkowski, one for 14. Overall, this was a very, very good game by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But, Again, all of the attention is not even going to end up going to the Bucks because the news that came out before the game that Brees is going to end up retiring. Drew Brees now is the center of attention, and what happens to the Saints in the offseason is also going to be in all the headlines. Sure, there's going to be people talking up Tampa Bay, Tom Brady going up against the Green Bay Packers next week, but there's also going to be what do the New Orleans Saints do in the offseason. They've got Taysom Hill, they have Jameis Winston, but they don't have Jameis Winston next year, I believe. I believe he's on a one-year contract, so he's going to have to sign a 
another deal to be the Saints quarterback next season. Do they do that? Are they trading up in the draft to get a guy like Zach Wilson, Justin Fields? Are they looking for a guy like Trey Lance? Are they going to stick with famous Jameis Winston? Jameis looked good today. Obviously, it was just one throw. But let me know what you guys think about that. Do you guys think Jameis is going to be the guy for the future? Do you think Drew Brees magically wiles his way back in there? But if I'm being honest with you, Drew, if I'm talking to you, Mr. Brees, great NFL career. But if I'm being honest with you, I wouldn't step foot on a uh, a gridiron ever again. That was just not the greatest of a showing. Now, the Bucks, obviously, Tampa Bay, Tom Brady didn't put up all that amazing of a game. But again, it did not really matter. He also rushed in a touchdown, which I forgot to talk about. Five for two and one rushing tug for Mr. Tom Brady. Now they go up against the Green Bay Packers. Now, there'll probably be a whole nother video on my channel discussing this game. But right now, early prediction... I don't think the Bucks stand a chance to the Packers, but then again, I mean, people were talking all week about how the Saints are going to blow the back out of the Buccaneers. They beat them twice. They're going to beat them for a third time. Typically, it's very hard to beat a team three times. This is what I've discussed in videos discussing this game before it ended up happening was that I think it's very hard for a team to go ahead and beat the Bucks three times in a row. It's just not likely to happen. Any team to beat another team three times in a row is very unlikely to happen, and that's what we saw today. Now they go up against the Packers. I'm going to be thinking the Packers. I'm pretty much on board thinking the Packers are going to win this game, but again, you never really know with Mr. Old Man Tampa Bay Tom Brady. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought about this game. It kind of felt like a snooze fest early. Now, I said yesterday's game, and I was getting fucking blown up. Like, it was unbelievable. I said the the Buffalo Bills-Ravens game wasn't all that good, and people in the comments with the Twitter fingers getting all pissed off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The game was all right. This game was much better than that one, but it really didn't feel like the Saints stood much of a chance, if I'm being honest with you, based upon how bad Drew Brees looked throwing those three INTs. So let me know what you guys thought about this game. The Bucks advance to play the Packers. The Saints go home to watch the game on the couch just like me. So have a great rest of your guys' day. I do love you all. Have a great rest of your guys' day as always. Kaboy! Now that's a seven-minute video.